Welcome to part two of this video. The next step is to define material properties. But before you jump into that, you need to make sure that you're following a consistent unit system convention. So for example, on the dynasupport.com website, it, it lists these possible combinations of uh, unit systems. So for example, if I'm defining the mass of the car in kilograms and the length of my CAD model is in millimeters, then time is actually in milliseconds and then the forces are in kilonewtons and the stresses, Young's modulus, all of them yield strength need to be defined in gigapascals. Similarly, acceleration, for example, is 9.8 E minus three. So you need to make sure you're using or choosing and using a consistent unit system. Unlike metals, the material properties for honeycomb come in the form of uh, volume fraction as well as uh, stress versus strain curves in the T direction, which is the axial direction of the honeycomb, and then L and W, which are the transverse directions of the honeycomb. And these curves are labeled as LCA, LCB, LCC, and so on. Similarly, you have for shear strength in the T, W, W, L, and L and T directions, you have curves LCAB, LCBC, and LCCA. So we need to input these as curves inside of LS prepost before we are able to define uh, the honeycomb material model. So again, uh, inside of the keyword manager, make sure all is selected. Then you scroll down to find the define. And then under that, there's an option called curve. So the curve is a, a multi-purpose uh, tool. So you can use it to define force deflection curves, stress strain curves, or a, uh, any set of uh, data points. So here, again, the same procedure, click on new ID, choose an ID number one, give it a name. So LCA curve for the, the main uh, two honeycomb structures, which is the 20 millimeter uh, cell size ones. I choose those and then input my st stress versus strain curve. So strain value, and then this is the stress value. Click on insert, and then add the second row. Click on insert, and so on. So if you want to change something, you can choose that and change, and then you can replace the data if needed. It is recommended to use the same number of data points for all of these curves. So the LC, A, B, C, and then A, B, B, C, C, A, all of them in this case should have identical four data points. So here the minus thousand and plus thousand are like a catch-all strain. So like even if it's the lowest strain or the highest strain, we are just saying that the same value gets uh, uh, interpolated in between. Okay, so now we have defined the curve for the honeycomb. Next step is we can go ahead and define the material properties. So I go under mat. And then here, there are a couple of options. So one is the piecewise linear plasticity. So this is for all the metal part. So that's material number 24, piecewise linear plasticity. So number 24. So same thing, new ID, give a name. So here, make sure you're using consistent unit system. So 207 gigapascals is the Young's modulus of steel, Poisson's ratio. So similarly, the yield strength is 200 megapascals or 0.2 gigapascals. And then this is the tangent modulus beyond the uh, yield strength value and so on. And then the outer shell, in this case, I'm using aluminum. So I use uh, 72 gigapascals as the Young's modulus for aluminum and so on. Similarly, the interplates are also aluminum. Next step is defining the honeycomb material. So that's material number 126. I'm gonna scroll down the list, find modified honeycomb, double click that. New ID number six, and then this is the 20 millimeter honeycomb. So from, from whatever data sheets, you're going to input the density and then Young's modulus in the fully crushed state and then the yield strength, volume fraction of the metal and then viscosity value. And then this is where you're going to reference those curves. So LCA, 
So to, to find that, so I'm going to click on this button here. And then from the list of previously defined curves, I'm going to choose the LCA for this 20 millimeter bump, bumper. Click that and then done. LCB, click there choose that curve down and so on All right the other material properties needed are like the elastic modulus in the uncompressed state so this is the compressed configuration these are the uncompressed values in the T W and L as well as the shear directions so accept and then new ID and then create a new one for the uh, six millimeter honeycomb. This concludes part two of the video. In part three, we'll be looking at defining loads and boundary conditions.